about God's faithfulness in our lives. Um, do you feel like God has been faithful to you? I do feel that. I do feel His faithfulness in my life. And I just feel like coming here to testify of His faithfulness in my life. Faithfulness in um, so many ways. For the many times He's protected me. For the many times He has lifted me up. And um, for the many answered prayers. Those are my testimonies. Not just one thing that He's done for me, but the constant, constant presence and constant protection, constant provision, constant, you know, being there for me. I have, I am, I'm witnessing all His love and protection in my life. I don't know about you, but I feel it. I feel it. I feel God's presence in my life. I feel God's presence in my life. I feel his constant care, constant provision, constant protection. Can I get a witness? Mm. You know, and amidst trials, amidst tribulation, amid sorrow, amid unsurety, amid broken relationships, amid struggles at work, amid each and everything we could be going through, He is ever present in our lives. He is present and that is what I really, really want to echo here today that God is present in our lives and that you could not see his hand working in you you could not be in a, in a space where you feel you can even say that he is present but he is because even when you feel that he's not working he is working and I know there's a song that says, you know, there's a song that goes like that. Even if you don't, even if you don't see it, he's working. Even if you don't feel it, he's working. He never fails. He never fails that he is constantly working in our lives. That you could not recognize, you could not see it, but he is working in your life. And that when you pray, when you believe, when you are in the waiting to see your answer, your prayer being answered, just keep knowing that He is working, that He's constantly there, present in your life, and that He is working to make it happen for you. It is in the process of being, you know, the working is going on. And in your waiting upon the Lord, for whatever request you have, remember that when he is working and answering your prayer, guess what? He could be sending you Gladys to remind you. He could be sending you somebody to help you. But because you're not in the anticipation of him working, you fail to see that he has sent you somebody. You fail to see that somebody has asked you a question somebody has offered you a help somebody is stepping in in the gap for you and you wonder how come such and such or so and so is asking me something could they have been told by somebody could it be somebody is talking about me and telling such and such something you're forgetting that you already asked and that now the help has come but you fail to see it because you're not anticipating that God is already working because you asked and now when you're waiting just know that 
God, God, God is working and how he works only he knows how he does his work so when you're believing remember that your belief should be with faith that God I have asked you for this I believe you know my needs and that I am waiting to see you working so be ready be prepared in your waiting in your waiting do not despair in your waiting don't despair in your waiting trust in him trust in the lord and fully trust and commit i look at full commitment to be like somebody who's skydiving somebody who is um, relying on that parachute when they are parachuting when you are diving out from the stable ground aeroplane or whatever and jumping when you are truly committing is knowing that you are placing yourself in that parachute working when you're bungee jumping on that rope holding you in whatever you do it's fully committing to God that you have no control over what will happen you have no control you completely commit to God so in that complete commitment it is you offering yourself up completely for him to work in your life and that means that you have to trust that he will hold you he got you that he will not let you down that you are completely saying that you know what I surrender everything I surrender my everything to you so fully commit to God and fully commit to knowing that you know what God got me that I do not I don't know I don't know it I have no control over it that I completely and utterly surrender you completely surrender you completely surrender you do what completely surrender so today I just want to encourage us in our surrender in our committing to God in reaffirming ourselves that the Creator is the one who knows the purpose he has for us in this world it is with complete surrender that I say you know what use me use me completely use me for whatever you would like that I have no control that I do not know that this life cannot be explained because I have no control over anything that I am completely committing to God so I just want to encourage us today to remember that in whatever you do when you completely commit to God make it completely make it in such a way that you don't have any doubt no doubt and it's not to say that I don't have doubt it's not to say that sometimes I weaver but it is also to remind me that you know what when you're saying you will be done God it is really meaning it and remembering that you have no control over anything that God got you that God got me so I don't know why today I feel the need to say that 
about you and that it's a testimony for me that so many times and so many things I've prayed for that have been answered and it's not that I don't um, see them I do and that I have had so much help come my way anytime I have asked so in the waiting God has been faithful in my waiting for an answer yes no maybe wait he has been faithful and um, yeah God got you and that seems to be something that I say a lot that he got you that he got us because he really does he really got us and that's my my honest humble prayer for us all that we remember we remember that we remember that um, that he is with us got us okay yeah so in your going and in your coming in whatever you do he is Ebenezer that we can make so many plans but only he knows if those plans will come into fruition That we wake up in the morning and forget to commit that day to his, to his hands. We wake up making plans. How about waking up asking for, you know, asking for him to, to be with us and that, you know what, this day is starting. Have your way. This day is starting. May it be your will be done in my life. That today I plan to do X, Y, Z. May your will be done. So that even in your X, Y, Z pl plans. They could change because it is his will being done in our lives nothing more and it's scary you know it really is scary to know that we make plans but God has plans for us that now if your plans change you don't cry about it you don't question it because you already said it that your will be done <laughs> so his will is being done it is in accepting and asking for guidance actually deep you know it's really deep and a lot to think about that really we have we have no control we have no control so in whatever we do that is just a reminder that A reminder that this life has somebody who is in control over. Imagine. So, yeah. Seems like I've already talked to about 15-20 minutes. 
<laughs> I don't want to rant and repeat myself. But just two reminders that yeah, God got you. Okay, good people. Otherwise, be blessed. Have faith. And rely on the Lord in everything you do. That is my resounding message today. That completely rely on God. That completely Baby, say hi to my people. Hi. Bye.